Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Spyro Year of the Dragon. We're going on to the next Sparks level. Princess Amy showed me a place called Starfish Reef. She says there's an egg hidden in there. I think Sparks should check it out. All right. Now, I would like to mention that, hey, I was wrong about Bentley. We actually do play as him one more time. It turns out, out of the seven playable characters in this game, six of the playable characters you play as four times. You don't play as any character less than four times, and Spyro's the only character you play as more than four times. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, and that door back there, we're not gonna be opening for a while. It looks like these doors are all closing behind us, too, so we want to make sure we've got everything. That eel can shoot stuff out at you, that's why I was a little nervous. Alright, cleared that out. Yeah, you don't need keys to get through these doors. They're just one-way doors. And these starfish split into multiple starfish. I like how we're in a bubble because we're underwater. And so are the butterflies. That's, that's how it works when you're Spyro, and that's how it still works when you're Sparks. Ooh, this is a new weapon. Okay, we can't go through there. We can go up here, though. Uh, did those, like, home on to the enemies? What, what exactly was that? I couldn't tell. Yeah, I think they do, and they seem pretty powerful, too. And they explode pretty big, so that's awesome. Take out these spawners here, get our health back. Moving on. You can shoot further than they can, so... Uh... They're really not too much of a threat. That's a good advantage you have over a lot of enemies in these Sparks levels. You can just shoot further. Well, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Alright, let's clear all these guys out before they cause us too much trouble. Get rid of that spawner while we can. Get our power up. Oh gosh, that thing spawns those guys, okay. I don't think that's opened. Nope. But we can go this way. What's with all the locked doors everywhere? Oh, I think I defeated a spawner off screen. Either that or it was just a horde of enemies. I'm not sure. Now we can go through here. I 
I really didn't need that health, but hey, I got it. Yeah, using our shots here, definitely. Okay, now don't get too close. And I thought I left a gem behind, but I think I was thinking of that guy. So, alright, took care of him. Moving on again. Whoa! This isn't the... No, we're not at the boss yet. But I think we're close. And here we go, boss time. We've got a manta ray. And notice we've got another door to go through with more gems behind it, but the door is closed. Yeah, we won't be able to go through there until after we beat the boss. But if we do enough damage to this manta ray... First of all, he's spewing out little babies at us. That we've got at a feet. Or maybe he's just shooting... That's not little babies. That's the... That's the new type of weapon we got in this level. There's some sort of a mine. I completely misunderstood that. But now, with half his health gone, he splits into two smaller rays. Now he splits out his little babies at us. And we just have to annihilate all these guys. So yeah, a splitting manta ray like Super Mario Sunshine, except that this game came out before that. So who stole from who? Seriously though, it's weird that both games have splitting manta rays. Is that like a thing? Is that a thing that existed before these games and they just took from the same source? Ashna Sean? Or Anna Sean? I'm, I couldn't tell what that name was supposed to be. But now this door is open, we can get these gems, and we're back at the start of the level. But we got everything, so we can just move out. When I saw that giant stingray, I thought you were a goner, Sparks. But you sure showed him. Now the magic from the egg has made you even stronger, so you can take one more hit for Spyro. Alright. Now, unfortunately, they don't have a way to tell you when you have that extra hit. The extra hit does carry over to Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, and in that game, they add a new red stage between uh, green sparks and no sparks. But in this game, what they do is not quite as helpful. They add a second yellow stage above the first yellow stage. So that butterfly right there, that actually gave me more health. And if I took damage, sparks would still be yellow. So you really can't tell when you've got full health, which is a bit of anno a bit annoying, but oh well. So let's head back to Midnight Mountain. And we'll end the video off outside of the portal to the next level. which should be Crystal Islands, right here. I'm the Terminian Hero, 
And I will see you next time when we do this level.